I'm thinking one could be here, uh, one out here. The fire ring. Yeah. That makes it legit, right? If you watched our last video, you know we made our way through the Valley of Fire where we did some awesome off roading and saw some great wildlife. But our goal was to camp here on the shores of Lake Mead. So after getting camp set up, it was time to enjoy the sun, the water, and this incredible view. Okay, nothing like a little baked brie while camping. All right. Seven years now on this boat, and we all know where we belong. Just wait. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon. Soon we'll be there. Well, this was a pretty darn epic camp spot. Been many, many years since I've been to Lake Mead. Grew up here as a kid, spent a lot of time on the lake, so it was good to come back. Definitely come back to this, this spot. This is called Stewart's Point. At one point in time, this was all underwater, but obviously, due to the decline of the lake, it's it's receded, but is coming back. In fact, it came up an inch last night. Very cool spot. A lot of boondockers out here, too. After leaving the Lake Mead Recreation Area, we headed into White Basin, which is BLM land adjacent to the Muddy Mountain Wilderness. Okay, we're in Bitter Springs right now, part of the Backcountry Discovery Route. Pretty beautiful back here.
As we were making our way to the muddy mountains, we stumbled across the remains of some old boron mines. Found some prospects out here. Take a look. This looks like this might have been a house. Somebody's residence. That's pretty cool. Fire or something. See the wood burnt. Let's go check out this other one. Unsafe. Stay out. Danger. I strongly recommend people adhere to all posted warnings. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. All right, well, I'm going to wait for you to come back to me because you got to film this. This is a little bit like uh, Jeremy Clarkson last night. Slow. Oh, yeah, you're down. Pretty awesome. Little creek coming through here. And you gotta see what they did back here. Wow, look at that. It's like they built a dam back here. final camp of the trip was going to be at Color Rock, outside the Muddy Mountain Wilderness area. And as you will see, this rarely visited place did not disappoint. After setting up camp, I did a little exploring with the drone. After a relaxing and peaceful night, we were back on the road. Our goal today was Las Vegas, where we were seeing you 2 at the Sphere. And our route there was going to take us across the Old Spanish Road. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break, you're riding shotgun. 
chains I'm wide awake Take me away now So this is what's known as the Old Spanish Road. So this was first explored by Spanish settlers in the late 1600s and used as a major uh, trade route from the 1830s to the 1850s. And it doesn't look like the road's been uh, improved since. All right, there it is. Thor's Lightning, Lightning Fast Air System. Look at that. Four tires at once. Okay, six minutes, 45 seconds to go to 37 pounds. Well, I think that's going to be it it for this trip epic epic time uh, saw some new sites we've never seen before uh, by the valley of fire lake mead and here in the muddy mountains this is pretty cool and a place not very well traveled so if you're looking to get away and uh, see something you haven't seen before this is this is uh, something i highly recommend as always thanks for watching and we'll catch you the next time we venture outside. Flashing your honey, yo